Today I'm going to talk about how to expand on your curriculum. Hi, my name is Sarah and this is Geeky Abode. This is where I love to share everything homeschool, family, and a little bit of life's adventures. Today I'm excited to share with you how I like to expand on my curriculum. I love expanding on a curriculum. That way I can provide my kids with a variety of different learning experiences that go beyond what the curriculum offers. Today I'm gonna to show you an example of how I expand on a curriculum. And I'm going to be using our Blossom and Root Wonders of the Earth and Sky curriculum. We are using this for our main science curriculum this year. And this curriculum includes a variety of things. It's basically earth science, it also has geology, weather, the atmosphere, and the seasons. We are really digging into the geology portion of this curriculum. I did a little bit of weather last year, so I'm going to hold off on that for now. And we're really interested in the geology, so that is what we're going to dig into and expand on. The curriculum already offers wonderful opportunities for learning, but I want to dig deeper and spend more time on the geology unit. So let's get into where I start when I want to expand on a curriculum. The first place is probably one of the obvious places to start, and that's adding books to a curriculum. And I like to look at it as different categories. I like to add some nonfiction books and obviously like DK, National Geographic, Usborn, those are all fantastic nonfiction books that I usually go to right away to see if they have any above the topic that we want to learn about. Another thing is fiction stories. And these can be, you can look for readers for your kids for them to read independently. And I also like to look for read alouds that I can read to my kids. In the read alouds, I like to select beyond their age level. That way is something that they can enjoy, but something that they couldn't read on their own. Another type of book that I like to look into is biographies. I like to see if there are any biographies that are connected to the topic that we're learning about. The Who Was books, that's a great opportunity to get into a really fun biography that your kids can learn about a particular person that's related to your subject. Activity books are great as well. If you have kids that like activity books or sticker books, there is usually an activity or sticker book that is on the topic that you're learning about. I love to check Amazon for those types of I'm gonna link a PDF down below that I created that I use when I want to expand on a curriculum. It will have all these things I'm talking about listed on there. That way it can remind you what things you may wanna look into. The next thing that I like to look into are videos. Whether that's a quick YouTube video, there are some great educational videos on YouTube. It could be movies, TV shows, documentaries. I always like to see if there's any sort of video that can go along with the topic. We really enjoy adding in most of the time like a quick four or five minute video that explains and shows a visual of the topic is really helpful and fun for us. I like to see if there are any apps related to the topic that we're learning. My kids love playing with their Kindle. If there happens to be a Kindle app that's related, I will download it onto their profile and let them know that it's there that they can use anytime. Along with the whole digital app and game idea, I also like to look for physical games. Whether they're card games, board games, I specifically love trivia games like the Professor Noggins games. Those are so perfect if you happen to have one that goes along with the topic that you're learning about. And the Professor Noggins games are offered in such a wide variety of topics. There's usually one that will be covering what you're learning about and it's fun. You can either play those in game form or I just like to pull out a card and use it as quick random trivia while we're diving deep into their topic and it's just another fun way to learn. Along with games, I like to look for art kits. Art kits are a great way for you to easily add art into the unit that you're studying about. Sometimes art can easily get forgotten and it can be kind of a hassle when you have to go out and buy all the individual supplies for it. So if you are able to find an art kit that is on the topic that you're learning about, I think that is a perfect way to add and expand on your curriculum. Along the lines of art kits or hands-on activities, any sort of hands-on activity that you can add into a unit that you're studying in our home is always welcome. And I find whenever we get our hands dirty and get our hands involved in a topic, we end up absorbing the information better. One of my favorite ways for us to learn is through experiences. I always like to see if there are any field trips or virtual field trips that I can add on and note into our curriculum that we're trying to expand on. I find these are sometimes some of the best and most memorable ways 
that you can add on to a unit and really recall the information that you've been learning through the study. So for our geology unit, I have added on some great nonfiction books, fiction books, picture books, some hands-on kits with that contain some rocks and minerals, some great YouTube videos, and I'm also considering adding on a supplemental curriculum. Another way that you can expand on a curriculum is to add in a separate unit study that is specific to the topic that you want to dig into. So we are doing the blossom and root, earth and sky, but we want to really dig into the geology unit. So I'm considering purchasing a separate geology unit. That way we can dig deep into that part and have it laid out for us step by step with a little bit more lesson. So there you have it. Those are the steps that I like to follow and some of the categories that I like to look into when I want to expand on a curriculum and kind of beef it up and make it more than what it is. Let me know down below what you like to do when you want to expand on a curriculum and I hope this video was helpful. I've also put that PDF down below. That way it's a quick guide. That way you can look into expanding your own curriculum and I thank you so much for watching and have a great day.